Now the award for editorial obsession. The finalists in the single topic issue category show how wide-ranging magazines are and can be. The subjects vary from food to football, from war to crime, and here are your finalists. Bloomberg Business Week for Steve Jobs, 1955 to 2011. A Life in Three Acts is just the beginning for this comprehensive instant tribute. While examining a legendary career, Bloomberg Business Week also asked what Jobs meant to his friends and followers. ESPN, the magazine. For Michael Vick Defined. Victim or villain? This 70-page package illuminates the life and career of Michael Vick and asks whether, despite his football heroics, he will ever be forgiven for what he's done off the field. Garden and Gun for the Southern Food Issue. From a late night raid with an artful frogger in Louisiana's Atchafalaya Basin to lunch with the carryout prince of Charleston, the sumptuous prose and photography of Garden and Gun capture the spirit of Southern cooking. New York for the Encyclopedia of 9 11. From Abidabad to Nazabula Zazi, New York Magazine's Encyclopedia of 9-11 defines not only the events, but the meaning of the day that still shapes the way we live a decade later. Wired, for the underworld issue. In this special issue, Wired goes undercover to expose the devious and illegal, from malware, darknets, code breakers, cheats, and cybercons, to Mexican drug cartels, Romanian hackers, and Russian botnets. Okay, once I can allow, twice I got to correct it, it's Abadabad. <laughs> Forgive me. The Ellie for single topic issue. Big night for New York Magazine. This is New York's first national magazine award for single topic issue. Accepting the award for New York is editor in chief Adam Moss. Look, we, uh, we all know that some issues matter to all of us more than others. Um, this one happened to matter to us a great deal. Uh, so thank you especially for this. Um, it was John Homan's reckless idea <laughs> to go all in to try somehow to capture the enormity of 9-11's impact in a single issue. He was joined by James Burnett as co-editor of the issue and pretty much <laughs> Every single editor and writer, plus a visual team led for this issue by Randy Miner and Jody Kwan, all left his or her mark on it. The subject seemed so big to encompass just about everything about the world we live in today, uh, but the entire staff rose to the occasion, to the one. Congratulations to all of them, and thank you. Thank you. 